Robert Heights car coming in from the Stangy Lanes under the bridge into the view of the crowd that's here. And he'll be coming up uh, in one group. Right now, group on the line. Jim Head, you saw his machine there. Dale Creasy, Ron Caps, and John Force. John Kernan, what's up? Well, down in Doug Coletta's pit and going to a break there, we saw that they were changing the engine. This is the engine that they took out of the car. You look at it, there are no problems. Talk to the team, and they said, no, no problems with the engine. This is just routine for them. Remember, they're going into the semifinals. Also, talking with Doug about the run there at 385, said it's the best car he's had in a while. Goes into the semifinals. He says all he needs to do, do his job, not pay attention to what everybody else is doing, and try to be one of the first two cars to reach the line in the semis to go on to the the final. Looking at lanes three and four now, there of course is John Force. Will he get his win this year? How about Ron Caps? How many of his fans are hoping that Ronnie finally gets it back, gets going? Let's go down to Dave Reed. Actually, Paul, we're going to jump in here at the top end. Jack Beckman out getting the numbers on that nice pass. He and Mike Neff will advance to this uh, second round of competition, which is the semifinals. Jack, give me an idea of the confidence level because this hot rod looks like it's really strong this weekend. If the fans at home wonder why we're breathing hard, it's not because the race cars is trying to get all this crap off before you guys talk to us. I think we've got a dog. Don't we have a dog on our car somewhere? Lucky. It's the only flying dog out here. I don't know if you said confidence. Confidence or confidence. I'm barely confident, but I got a ton of confidence in the Aaron's Valvoline car and these guys. I actually took a chunk on the starting line. We had a 405 in this car. We were ready to rock today. Let's swing over here and get a quick word with Mike Neff. Happy with the way everything's going for your team in this four wide circus? Sure, you know, going to the next round, that's the main thing. So, you know, we got everybody from Ford and Castrol out here. So, yeah, I wanted to just get through that first one, ran about what I wanted to run, thought that would do it. So, um, We'll see how it plays out the rest of the day. He's been talking about the fact that they did some early season testing with some new pieces he hadn't been able to utilize until this weekend. Looks like it's starting to pay off. And Paul, we heard Jack say that he took a chunk. That means he went in a deep stage, rolled in a little bit farther, which helps the reaction time, and he had a good one, but it takes a little bit off the elapsed time. That's why he said probably went a 405, and they go back and look at the computer. Well, no question, he is definitely somebody to watch. Somebody else to watch is Jim Head, his first round of racing four wide. Back in the staging lanes, there's uh, Cruz Pedregon. They get his machine ready. They line them up, straight line, one after the other, and then roll them on in. Head, Creasy, Caps, and John Ford. That's good to see Dale Creasy out here. Old Peanut, he's got a one and six record last season, finished 19 in the points. Remember, he doesn't run all the seasons. One of the low buck racers of, of all time. But then you talk about Ron Caps. He's got the budget to run. And uh, for Creasy, that one round win was against John Force. Force broke, Maple Grove. And how about John Force? I mean, this guy has been amazing in qualifying. A 412, a 410, another 412, then a 405 in the final session. He has a hot rod. The Chiefs complete their ceremony. We're pre-stage. He's out of it. The other three continue. Oh, wow. <laughs> A little change there at the last. John Force and Jim Head advance. And Jim Head was the quickest. How <laughs> about that, That's Jim Head? Cool. Wow. You can never count him out. Take another look at me. Ron Caps had a good starting line, but he was out in front of everybody before he started spinning the tires. It looked like he was a little bit too aggressive for lane three. But if you take a look at our Lucas Oil photo finish cam, you're going to see Jim Head by just a nose over John Force, and Dale Creasy just missed it by a car length. And uh, the family back on the line. Courtney on the right. We're probably going to see her in a funny car before this year is out.